For those of you who love cats, let me tell you my cat story. <laughs> I am one of those crazy cat ladies. I have been obsessed with cats for as long as I can remember. And I just wanted to share our whole cat journey for anyone else who shares the same love and obsession for cats or just animals in general. As many of you know, we lost our sweet Tinkerbell about a week ago and it was the most devastating loss for me. I'm really sad right now because I have not been able to find my cat, Tinkerbell. And we've looked everywhere, I haven't seen her since last night. Thank you all so much for your messages about Tinkerbell. I feel so grateful to have so many amazing friends who care and understand how how devastating it is to lose a pet and for me Tinkerbell was just like like so special to me every day I was just obsessed with her <laughs> I was more attached to her than like any other pet so I'm, I'm really sad but I think the hardest part is that it, it could have been prevented, you know, I, I let her out that night and I almost hesitated because I, I don't like to let her out at night. I always try to make sure she comes in because I posted a video of her right before, like an hour later, she ended up going out and I saw she wanted to go out and it was getting dark and always make sure she comes in at night. And I was thinking, okay, I'll let her get her little fill and be outside for a little while before it gets dark. And then once we were ready to go to bed, as usual, I always make sure I get her in. And she didn't, she didn't come. And I called so many different times and I have this way of getting her in. I shake her treats and she usually will come eventually, but she didn't. And the next morning... Usually, if she does stay out at night, she's usually in the laundry room because she comes in through our little kitty door, and she wasn't there. And I just knew instantly that something bad had happened to her. I've had a lot of cats before, and um, something about Tinkerbell was just extra, extra special to me. I know not everyone can relate to the intense grief that one can feel when losing a pet, and. To be honest, I don't think I could really relate all that much until this last experience with Tinkerbell. Like I said, I've had cats before and of course I've always been sad when I've lost them or we had to give our um, cats away just for the safety of our babies. We, we didn't have cats for a little while so I had to get rid of Jasmine and Sammy and Sean got me them when we first got married and so they were my little babies until I started having my own babies. There were a few years where I didn't have cats and I was just too overwhelmed with babies anyway so I just didn't have the time to care for cats. And then we got Zuri. After having her for about a year, we got a call from the fire department and they told us that she had been hit by a car. So that was really sad. We, we've had bad luck with cats. So we had uh, our one cat, uh, Zuri, got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, you're so cute. We love her, huh? Yes. Leo's so cute. So Zuri had some babies and we kept one of her babies, Cleo. And she was really, really special to me because during the time when I has, was going through the first part of my faith crisis, leaving the Mormon church, she was my little companion and she was by my side and I cried with her, a lot of crying, and snuggling her in my bed, and so she was really an important um, piece for me at that time. The cats got pregnant before the spay appointment, and it's tough to keep cats inside when you got kids. They let the cats out all the time, and so, anyway, um, the kittens were fun, though. It was fun to have kittens. Yesterday was a very 
sad and traumatic day for me. I love kittens. I'm like obsessed with kittens. <laughs> they just like make me so happy. And um, one of the little kittens passed away yesterday. It was really sad. It was uh, really hard for me to watch that little baby kitten suffering and it was suffering all day and we did everything we could to, to try to save it. And I know that like that's nature, it's part of life, but <laughs> I know it happens all the time in, in the wild, but it's just hard to witness it. And it's interesting because when Crystal went through the, the faith crisis, like the kittens seriously, come on baby, the kittens seriously like was a lifesaver for her, um, especially Cleo was just an absolute lifesaver for her. So she's been so sad and um, emotional over Cleo disappearing. And so um, we were catless and I actually felt so horrible about losing the cats that I decided like we're not having any more cats. Like this is just too heart wrenching and I, I feel too bad about it but I could just see it was hurting Crystal to not have a cat. It was really hurting her and she's always been a cat person. I'm more of a dog person. We're just big time animal lovers. So anyway, Crystal got this, this little girl for Christmas. Say hi. This is Crystal's cat. And what did we name her? Um, uh, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. And what's her name, her nicknames? Um, Tink. Tink. <laughs> Close your eyes, everybody. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I knew it. Oh, oh my god! Wait a minute. I thought you said it came oh. in a box. It's a Scottish string. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What the frick? Wait, how did it come in a box? Did you check it? What the You did. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, because you. Is that a good Christmas yeah. present? Yes. Yeah. Did you raise me, Terry? I think I knew the first day that she went missing that something bad had happened to her. And. Um, I still had a little bit of hope like oh, maybe she just got lost or maybe somebody she got locked in somebody's garage or shed or something And so I just had this little bit of hope like oh, maybe maybe she's still alive and um, Sean spent hours looking for her and he posted he went out with Brooklyn and posted flyers all over the neighborhood We sent out tags. I posted it online and just like really really desperate to find her and um it was just awful. So, I was so much in love with Tinkerbell that I wanted to find another cat just like her. And I was like, I hope I can find a cat that has like this, all these little perfect things about her personality that I just loved and the way she looked, her face, and everything was just ugh, the best. And so we looked all over and we could not find her breed. There were none. There were no Scottish folds or Scottish straights anywhere in the area. And I was just so sad. And I was like, I'm not going to be able to find a cat just like Tinkerbell. And, um, but then Sean found these two precious kitties, Maxie and Abby. They're a couple. And, um, the previous owners had a, a little girl that now they've, found out that she's allergic to cats so it just was like I feel like it is such a gift not only do I get one cat but I get two cats and they're just they're the cutest they're so in love they love each other they've been together since they were born and they're four years old and I just oh my gosh I'm already so much in love with them so now I guess I finally realized that cats should be more indoor and I never really, I never really thought about having a cat be like 100% indoors. I just thought, well, cats are, these are animals. They need to be outside. They need to get um, fresh air and they want to hunt and all of that. So that's why I always 
we always had like a doggy or a kitty door and a doggy door for our pets to go in and out in and out of our home freely and i am now realizing based on my experience with cats that it's really hard to keep your pet safe your cat safe because they wander way further out than than our dogs ever do our dogs never really leave our backyard and they they just don't wander and our my cats you know cats like to wander they like to explore they they're curious they love hunting so they go further away from the, our home and so this is my first time even considering having a cat that stays indoors all the time and i'm just realizing that it's actually i have no choice if i want to have a cat live pat longer than a year then i need to keep it indoors or figure out some way to keep them safe so i'm so excited about this new idea that we have we're gonna put in a catio i've been looking all over on pinterest i'll show you guys some ideas of what we're thinking of and i'm gonna just show you the whole process of our building the catio how we're going to be integrating these cats into our home um so far we are just keeping them in the master bedroom to start they're only they've only been with us one day and um just trying to get them used to our home the new smells uh they haven't met the dogs yet um and getting used to all of the kids and all of that so we're excited about this new journey to have these two i i feel like it is such a gift if there's one good thing that has come from Tinkerbell's death, it is these two cats. I am 100% of the belief that when one door closes, another one opens, and there's always good and beauty and greatness coming your way, even after a tragedy. Thank you guys so much for caring, and I'm just excited to introduce you to my new kitties and show you their new life and indoor space that we're going to be creating. Give me love, give me all your love, oh cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. You hold my heart